Find electric static load run generator? Yeah, tiny little storage. I sit on my car now. Hi, everybody. I drove down here with Bob Royce, so and he's told me everything. <laughs> Hopefully, some of this is important anyway. We're driving back together. I went through the factory training with PCT, people that make the, uh, the big boys unit there for the semis this week, so I learned all that. I've been following this stuff myself for. Oh, so I'm sorry. I've been following this stuff myself for many years, and I went through the factory training for pre combustion technologies along with some installers that I recommend to come up here, and they said, well, we're trading them, we can trade you, that's great. So I came up, I lived in Fort Lauderdale. And I've been enthusiastic about this for a number of reasons. First of all, I'm the author of Flood Your Body With Oxygen, which is a bestseller in the alternative health field. And the whole idea with this, which is real simple, is that most all of the diseases caused, uh, that humans have are caused by bacteria, viruses, funguses, and pathogens. They're all anaerobes. Anaerobic means can't live in oxygen. So, what's been suppressed in this country for about 100 years since the rise of the petroleum and drug barons, uh, getting rid of all natural healing options, we have this technology gone to Europe pretty much, and the Germans became expert at it, specific expert at it, specifically ozone therapy. And uh, I've seen people cured of AIDS. I've seen people cured of cancer over and over and over. I've seen all this over and over and over. I was instrumental. I brought doctors and cured AIDS patients under the auspices of Dr. Uh, excuse me, Congressman at the time, Berkeley Padella from Iowa, and Senator Tom Harkin. They made the National Institute of Health sit down with us and look at our evidence. And I brought doctors with me and we had the proof and we had all the studies from Europe. There's thousands of studies proving this stuff works. But it's not taught in the United States Medical School. So go ask your doctor, he knows nothing. He won't get behind something that he knows nothing about. So we're down there at the NIH and Dr. Anthony Fauci sits back in his chair after I said, well, you three hours of listening to our proof, what do you think? He leans back and he puts his hand together in that, that power pyramid thing, you know. We see no reason to pursue this. Cure for, for AIDS sitting in front of them, cure AIDS patients. Doctors swore they saw them before and after tests, proved they went to HIV negative. We see no reason to pursue this. Well, then I said, hit the road, go to the people. They don't want to do it, the people want to do it. So I spent the next 20 years uh, going around the world lecturing on a couple thousand radio and TV shows and speaking platforms, Barry Povich. Uh, you know, all, all, all any place I could get to and get out, uh, expo after expo after expo, alternative health, consciousness expos, that sort of thing. And they picked up a lot of stuff along the way about alternative technology. So I had a real interest in it. Because I had already, they put this in a movie once. Hello? Hello, I, I'm lecturing, so I have to get back to you. Thank you. <laughs> That was in a movie. That, that was in a setup. That was true. I forget what it was. The, the, actor left his, the actor left his cell phone on, and his mother called him. He goes, oh, I didn't know the job. They got a dead body in the truck. Mom, I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> so I let it happen. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. Okay, so I did what I could to tell everybody I went and I lectured all over the world, and I almost became famous as a best selling author. And everybody said that was impossible because. Without a publisher, nobody's going to buy this book. Uh, they didn't count on me going around town after town, back and back, every weekend in a different city all over the U.S. Australia, New Zealand, Scotland, uh, England, Hawaii, just wherever I could go. And we had a real grassroots movement, just like this. Grassroots movement of people saying, wow, you mean that's true? It really works? i got to tell everybody. I'll help you. And so. They brought me to Australia, and I'd go from town to town, and each town I'd stay in a stranger's house, do a talk show in the morning, do a lecture at night, they'd drive me to the end of the town after the lecture, the next town would pick me up, do the same thing again, the next town would pick me up at the edge of their town, and, and I didn't even set it up, they did. That's how bad they wanted. And I see that stage, and now, now of course there's huge supplement companies, uh, doctors, naturopaths, using all the stuff I've talked for 20 years. So it's become an actual 
you know, a mainstay of alternative medicine now. But at first, even the alternative practitioners, the practitioners never heard of it. So I said, I looked at this and I went, all right, yes sir. I'm sorry, I keep doing that. Here we go, I'll just do this. How's that? Okay. So the, uh, uh, bring it out. And you'll have a nice little here. Okay, then you'll know me because I'll be the guy with the red dot. All right. So then I, uh, then I kept on going, kept on going, kept on going, and I taught and taught and taught how anaerobes is the cause of most disease, AIDS, cancer, etc., etc. It's all the same thing. Rising pollution, lowered oxygen, useful oxygen levels. We used to be maybe 38 to 50 percent oxygen, now we're 21 percent. So at 21 percent, your body is running on half the oxygen it was designed to run on. That being the case, we're all in trouble. Look at the skyrocketing disease rate. Look at the skyrocketing pollution rate. Gee, that's a parallel line. You see? So I've been, I've been looking and looking at alternative energies. I used to teach courses in Windmills at community college before I even started all this stuff. So I have an old hand at alternatives, uh, zero point energy, you know, however deep you want to go into it. And having traveled all over the country and the world, I've met all the experts and learned what they were teaching. Because I'd be lecturing the same thing about oxygen. They'd be over there talking about zero point and HHO and hydroxy and everything you could think of. So I put it all together in my mind, and just last week, I decided to come up here. I told some friends that I had in Phoenix, there, they became dealers for frequent processing technology, and they're doing the training, hey, I'll do it too, and here I am. It's just, it's just been, I never really decided to do this, I just had to do it. I don't know if that makes sense, it probably does the most of you. When you sit there making these things, you just feel like I have to do it. Well, it's because it's the solution that I design. What you're doing is, we want to use big words. Uh, it's a holy, sacred task for the warriors of light. How's that for you? <laughs> or, I'm just a good guy and I want to help people. Or, hey, I can save a lot of money. But the effect of what you're doing is, you're saving the world. You're saving the planet. Because if we can get enough of this stuff at every level of society, in every country, around the world, where's the pollution going to come from? And then most of the pollution we have, you can use ozone therapy not only to purify the human body, ozone, three atoms of oxygen, not smog, not poison, that's a lie. All that has been used for, like I said, 100 years, injected into humans and completely sterilizing them. If you drink bottled water, all the water you have in your bottle, if it's cross state lines, turn the label over, it says ozonated water, ozonated the plant, ozonated the filter plant. FDA has approved and knows that ozone will sterilize completely water. Now there's a parallel there. With the more advanced systems in the HHO area, you're also energizing the ox ox hydrogen. I'm so used to saying oxygen for 20 years. You're, uh, you're energizing the hydrogen into the ortho state. You've heard discussions of that here already. Well, that's what using ozone does to the human body. You're taking the sun's light, the photons, and coming from the sun, which we've defined in the dictionary is the same as an electron, interesting. It's a carrier of energy, it's a packet of energy. Uh, if you get into natural healing, it's called the Vril Force, or Chi, or a Prana, deep breathing, that sort of thing. Things have a blue glow around them, that's your life force. That's, that's getting more into uh, rife, and, rife and, and all those other people. Uh, so, there's a lot of parallels here. And having been come from that area into this, and having already known about alternative energy and following privately myself, all those years we never spoke about it. When I got up here and saw what a good job PCT was doing with their stuff and Bob Boyce, and had been working on this for 27 years, you know, and he had access to his research at one point to any material, any any database, any lab, any person, anything he wanted. And that's where he, he figured out most everything he's taught to all of you guys who learned from him.